looking for your of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bagiologist. It was quite interesting though that there was a lady that I could see that she wasn't looking at me but she was laughing. So that was really nice. And also it was really nice that a gentleman, he gave us his newspaper which has insects. Uh, so It was alright. Um, I think the, the most surprising um, or challenging aspect is that uh, people are clearly a little uncertain about who you are and what you're doing and so they, they may not really engage with you, um, which is probably the scariest thing as a performer if you're trying to do something and, and it seems like people are uninterested. But you could tell that they were actually kind of clocking into what was going on. My mother was shocked and bewildered that a child of two had heard the word Mason, understood it and chosen it for her most beloved childhood companion, apart from the dog. Never forgotten that glorious day with grandma and the secret strawberry tarts. I think it went well. Um, it depends the kind of on what bus you're on. It actually goes better when there's more people on the bus, just because I think people feel safer and they kind of look around and see how other people are reacting and they feel um, like they can enjoy it more when there's more people around. Because um, I did it before when there were only a couple people on the bus and I think they feel a little bit more threatened. They don't know what's going on. They think maybe you're crazy. And a thin layer of white hair starting halfway down his head and running around in a circle. Do you have a sunbed out there? Well, I knew it wasn't that, but in case you haven't noticed, I've nothing but the direct. Well, the first uh, on the way out from the from the bus station, there were only maybe five or six people in the bus, so it was not a busy bus. And I had definitely one man who was interested in my story. He became more and more interested as it went on. And it went well, I think, you know, I didn't forget any lines, which is always a good sign. The torch relay, the Olympics, remember that? The Olympic torch all over the country. <laughs> Care careful, I ke ke careful, careful. I'm keeping it for a, uh, well, stay. Um, usually the first performance on the buses is the, the hardest one. Um, but it always helps when you have a few people just to engage with you who start to get interested in the story. Once they're interested in the story, then the performance becomes a bit more enjoyable. So. I believe they were more intent on me being discovered than even I was. I call mine Jack. What do you call yours? <coughs> Mason. 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 Today it went really well, the reaction was lovely. There was an older lady who was smiling the whole time and nodding and it was really lovely. Well, I thought it was um, interesting and different like, subjects and I really liked how it was on the bus. It was a nice surprise on the bus journey today. Uh, Why um, would you do a light few more of it? Yeah, it makes it a lo little bit more exciting travelling out. I enjoyed it because I thought her performance was excellent. She was uh, very southern. I thought she was doing something from, what was it, from Gone with the Wind. <laughs> this uh, one guy who an older man who was very offended because I was of course trying to project my voice to be heard and he felt I was very rude and he had never seen anyone so rude in his life and he was quite barking at me and he made a point he was like it's so close to myself and then he made a point he left the bus because really he could not take it he found it so disturbing and he didn't enjoy any of it so that was one extreme and at the other extreme that was on a Wednesday when we were filming and um, I, tried, I started the story and you know how I start saying, oh, I've, uh, I was just sitting in the library and I had two women, who, uh, older women, they had been talking to each other and as soon as I s started, one was like, oh no, what did you say? <laughs> I was like, um, okay, so I started again and for about the first, like, page of the monologue, she in interrupted me, but in a very nice way. Every two words, she had a story. She was like, oh yeah, I had seen a guy who was, oh no, but at least you don't have patches of hair. You still have hair or whatever. And I'm like, 
<laughs> so after about like five minutes, I was like, oh, you know what? Let's just have a chat because you're lovely. <laughs> so that's it. That was it. Because you just thought you'd start talking to them. Yeah. Yeah. So that, yeah. But then she did ask me, she was like, oh, well, so what were you doing? I was like, well, you know, I was meant to be performing, but we're just having a nice chat, so that's all right. <laughs> so it was funny. Uh, yeah, last night I was on the, on the buses, and um, I was on the uh, very tough bus, the number 55. <laughs> 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 oh, the old 55. The old 55. Um, <laughs> and uh, there were about eight people on that bus, and... Usually in 55, they ignore you. They just ignore you because that's what they do. Um, but last night, they all looked. And in fact, one guy moved closer so he could get a better listen. And there was another guy up the back who'd had a few drinks who was also interacting, but that's fine. And uh, there's a couple of pe times where I go in the monologue, um, and you know what I did? And this guy was like, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> and so I spoke back to him. And at the end, I explained that we were acting on the buses and we were doing this all week. And they were asking loads of questions about what was going on and why we were doing this and where the piece came from. Um, and then one woman said that it was the most surreal thing she'd ever had, but she really enjoyed it. Brilliant. So, it was really, yeah, it's really good. Mm. But yeah, last night they were very funny. Mm. Yeah, funny bunch. Mm. The woman who hugged me. Yeah. The woman who hugged me. Just, just, <laughs> just at the very end of the piece, I went to leave the bus and she went, oh, no, don't go, like that. <laughs> and I, you know, I thought I'd made a friend. <laughs> and she actually came right up and gave me a cuddle and then oh. put something in my pocket, which I assumed to be a pound coin. I got off the bus and discovered it was a 10 pound note. <gasps> I'm worth a whole 10 pounds if anybody's <laughs> unsure. <laughs> Great, but I didn't have time, unfortunately, to arrange for her to be on that same bus at the same time. <laughs> <of> the <day>. <laughs> <laughs> But she was lovely. Yeah. Performer, like because it was such a, an unsettling experience for them, and there isn't a, a dark wall. You watch people, you know, actively sometimes avoiding, and and that is the most interesting challenge in the world. Like, how do I keep going when you're not only you know, not in, engaged, but like actively avoiding it. Mm. But it was, I think as some people said, you, you kind of could tell that they didn't know what to do. So they were like almost sometimes listening, mm. but not, they didn't want to engage in case you were actually crazy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which somebody said to us afterwards, yeah. last night we saw someone and for five minutes we didn't know if she was crazy or not. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. so. Connected with the character or possibly the story, yeah. and, and I think for me, that just sort of um, reminded me that it's that theatre is actually a very personal experience, <laughs> or it can be, um, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so we tried to sort of make the most of that, and even if, you know, eight out of ten people were sitting with their phones or newspapers in front of their faces, if two people were engaged with yeah. with what you were doing, mm -hmm. you'd sort of we say done your job. <laughs> you know, you I think I think it's that's it. You know, if somebody goes away feeling something after what you've done, then you've done your job. So it was it was great. And for me it was Thank you. it took you it took me back to the essence of making theatre, which was what I mean, what's my main purpose? To make people laugh. So even in an adverse environment where people they were not expecting, so they were quite closed off. Still, it felt so nice when you could identify people that they were actively engaging. And then when at the end, they were saying, well, yeah, thank you, thank you very much. This was really nice. And we were with Adam today, and we were saying, thank you for staying until the end. And everyone was laughing, and it was... It was a very, very liberating experience and also I have to say that I appreciate much more uh, the normal audience because they have paid tickets so they've already made a commitment to us that at least they're going to give us a chance and see if we deserve it or not. Whereas with these people we had to work extra hard to engage with them. It was a very short time that I did it 
was specifically because I was like, this makes me incredibly uncomfortable mm -hmm. and scared. Mm -hmm. I should probably do it, <laughs> <laughs> even even if it's not, you know. Even, and it continued to like it actually never yeah. got yeah, it never comfortable. Yeah, it never. Yeah. That is weird. How come? Like I've got my experience is that I found tonight almost more nerve wracking than being in a bus. Sure. You know when you say, well, you cannot ask the, the, the actors to do it every day, whatever. I would. Yeah. I like. I'm teaching in the morning. I'm walking my dog, and then I'm going on the bus. I make people laugh, and I get off, and then I walk my dog. <laughs> again and maybe in the afternoon I go back on the bus and I do it again <laughs> and the first time was nerve-wracking I remember yeah. I was kind of shitting myself really <laughs> I was like oh my god oh my god <laughs> I missed the line <laughs> and I don't know and then afterwards I just loved it because it is different every time because people but I I don't know maybe I teach a lot and I like I, feel, I do enjoy you know I don't seem to some lame or whatever, but I enjoy people and I enjoy people's you know seeing them in the theater tonight. I find it awful. You've got the lights. I couldn't see anybody, anyone's expressions, and you're like, oh my god, oh my god. I'm looking at black, and I found that much harder in a way. I, having done it every day on the bus, you you read people's, and even if people are looking away, some of them, and some of them think that you're nuts or you're annoying them, but you read them, and you can then you know. You, every time is a bit different because you feed yeah. a bit from that. And I found this great in a way, you know, I don't know. Nice.